Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. Let me turn my attention a little bit to my next guest, who is Ru Powell. She's going to talk about Undercover, Underage, which is a six-part true crime series that's premiering on Discovery+. Plus. Ru Powell, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Thank you so much for having me. Well, Ru, I'm, I'm just I'm enamored by you, I'm impressed by you, and I'm just, I don't understand you. I saw your trailer yesterday. You're an award-winning writer, a child advocate. You're the founder of SOSA, you know, an, organiz- an organization committing to raising awareness and combating the pervasive online child sex abuse and exploitation. But you're a mom also, too. Yes. Explain me how you can wrap all those titles in one. I just don't do any of it very well. That's the key. Um, no, I, you know, I feel really strongly about online sex abuse and exploitation, and that's really that's really the drive. You know, as as a mom, I, I think it's important. I don't think you have to be a parent to be concerned about what happens to our society's most vulnerable. But as a mom, you don't just care about your own kids. You kind of care about everyone else's kids too, and it's it's an easy it's easy motivation for me to um, try to make a dent in this. Okay, tell me about the six-part true crime series. What are we going to see, and how are we going to be impacted? Well, you know, Undercover Underage is definitely, it's, it's you know, a true crime docuseries. It follows me and Sosa around and the work that we do. I think it'll be, you know, it's definitely interesting. It can be a little bit harrowing because... What's happening is, is real. You know, we're going undercover as decoys. We're, we're putting teenage decoys online in order to identify online perpetrators. And you'll see the process of how we do that. And then you'll also be able to see the communications that come, that come in and the people that we talk to and the levels of manipulation and coercion they go to in order to abuse a kid. What do you say to parents because this is aimed at predators who come after children. What are you saying to parents? What are you telling them that obviously they're not getting, it's not getting across to a lot of parents? Well, I think the issue is not that parents don't care. I think what we're combating is just a lack of awareness around what can happen online. I did not grow up with a smartphone in my hand. I, my parents only were concerned about, you know, whether or not I was safe walking home from the bus stop. And that was kind of the extent of it. The internet has opened us to a, a brave new world and smartphones are kind of uncharted waters. I think technology is great, but it's also an avenue with which perpetrators can use to reach children. So I think that raising awareness is really the, the first big step. Um, I think the best thing that parents can do is have open and honest communication with your kids about what can happen online. I liken it to the sex talk. I have a teen and two tweens. I don't just give the sex talk once. It's a conversation that we have that's ongoing. The same with online safety. I also want my kids to know that I'm in their corner. If something happens, I'm here to help them. And I want them to trust their gut when something feels wrong. I want them to say, ew, that's not right, or oh, that feels weird. Um, I think that's the best defense we have in combating predation. It seems you that Parents and children, they can't tell a perpetrator from a regular person. Mm. Your um, a preliminary information I got said a perpetrator can be a school employee to a high-profile community figure. So there is no boogeyman to say, correct? That's right. And I think that is uh, one of the biggest issues is there is no boogeyman. It's not some caricature of a monster under a bridge somewhere. These perpetrators are 
everyday people in our lives. They can look like the guy that does your taxes or the person that's shopping next to you in the grocery store. Um, there really is no profile of the scary guy in the basement. And I think that's what people will find disconcerting. They are our community members. They are our neighbors. They are the people next to us on the train. I'm worried about you now that it, you're doing this series. I don't know you personally, but I'm very worried about you as a mother, as a, as a, as a sister, as a girlfriend, because now people know that you're on the hunt for them. How do you feel about this? Good. <laughs> I mean, I, I, if nothing else, I hope that someone who wants to harm children will go online and wonder if the teenage girl they're talking to is actually a police officer or someone like me or another nonprofit. Um, I hope that they will maybe recognize the inclination in themselves to harm someone and get help before they ever break the law, if not because if not because they're harming kids, if only for self-preservation because they don't want to go to prison, fine. I, I hope that this causes people to think twice about their actions. Well, we're going to think twice about you, and we're going to support you, and we're going to follow you. Thank when you, you want us to watch, I know Underage, Under, uh, Undercover, Underage premiered on the second. When do you want us to watch it? Oh, I think you should watch it now. It's streaming. The first two episodes uh, drop in the second, and then one episode every Tuesday after that. I am hoping that a lot of parents will watch it with their teens, and it'll be a good... Um, it'll, it'll be a good topic for dialogue. RuPaul, you are a force to be reckoned with. Thank you so much for stopping by. And please know that I will help you get your message out at any time. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Valder. I appreciate it. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free, head on over to myphonepouch.com.